a few mm. weeks back we ran a story on the thyroid gland, a butterfly-shaped gland at the front of the neck. The thyroid might be small, but it's responsible for so much, from regulating our energy levels to our weight, skin, hair, and even our moods. And while taking care of your thyroid isn't something you might think about, there are some simple ways to make sure yours is in tip-top shape. I've got to say, Nat, this is the strangest combination of picnic ingredients I have ever seen. What is going on here? Well, you obviously haven't been to a thyroid optimising picnic before, Luke. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, what we have here is my favourite thyroid healing foods. And the reason they're my favourite is they contain really important nutrients that allow your thyroid to function properly. So salmon, which is rich in iodine. We have uh, the steak there, which is a really good source of protein, iron and zinc. Carrots, rich in vitamin A. Brazil nuts, rich in selenium. And we also have some broccoli and sauerkraut, which are really good for optimising gut health, which is connected to your thyroid health. OK, so we're going to have some really healthy thyroids going on right now, but can we just take a step back? What is the thyroid? Great question. So your thyroid is a gland that sits in your neck and it's responsible for the energy production of every single cell in your body. So it has an influence over your gut health, your mood, your memory, your cognition and your weight as a few examples. OK, so what affects our thyroid health? Well, I would say what doesn't affect our thyroid <laughs> health is a better question because everything, and I like to narrow it down to three umbrella areas. So that is nutrition, which we've spoken about to a degree, sleep, and also stress. So stress being environmental stress, chemical stress, physical stress, or mental and emotional stress as well. We often hear about people having an overactive thyroid and an underactive thyroid. What does that mean? So it means that they either have not enough thyroid hormones or too much thyroid hormones going through their body. The most common signs of an underactive thyroid are things like fatigue, brain fog, memory loss, inability to lose weight despite trying your best or perhaps not changing anything. Could also be that you have cold hands or feet or you might be experiencing hair loss or um, poor, poor skin health as well is another common example. What about the signs of an overactive thyroid? So it's kind of opposite. So everything in your body is being turned up. So you might have a rapid heart rate, excessive sweating, and you might be losing weight unintentionally as well. So obviously eating delicious nutrient dense foods like this is a great way to balance our thyroid. Is there anything else we can do? Okay, Nat, so I gather from our costume change here that keeping active is good for our thyroid? Absolutely, it is. So movement is really beneficial for our thyroid for multiple reasons. Yep. One is that generally exercise is helpful for balancing our hormones and also it's beneficial for managing our stress. The other benefit of doing it outdoors is that we also get exposed to sensible levels of vitamin D. I'm so glad you mentioned stress management, Nat. When I keep my stress levels low, it not only benefits me mentally, but physically as well. Ways that I can do this is through exercise, hanging at the beach with my puppies, device free time, and getting a good night's sleep. Sleep is so important for thyroid health. It's when all of your hormones reset, so to speak. And it's not just about getting enough hours of sleep, it's also the quality of sleep. So while we're on the topic of things we do in our home, is there anything we can do to that environment to help our thyroid? Absolutely. I think making sure your home is mold free, decreasing your toxic load by switching out, um, you know, toxic cleaning products for more natural alternatives. Such great tips, Nat. I'm all about getting my thyroid in tip top condition. What else have you got for me? Well, I reckon we go for a run. All right, let's go.